Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So I want to bring a very interesting dream that I was given last night. Unfortunately, I don't remember all the details, um, but I do remember the words of this dream that's been haunting me all day. I've been in prayers and doing studies and research, uh, looking up the uh, verses on first fruits and um, just trying to understand as much as I possibly can about this dream. I know it's from the Holy Spirit. I know that the Spirit of God is um, trying to teach me and tell me and reveal um, what I believe is who I am in Him and who many of you are that are watching this video are in Christ as well. Again, the topic, the subject is on first fruits. And the Word of God tells us that we know in parts and we prophesy in parts. No one knows every details about everything except God Almighty Himself. Amen. Infinite wisdom. Our God um, holds the entire keys to every mysteries of the kingdom of God. And He just shows us bits and pieces of the puzzles but he holds the entire puzzle anyways so the book of james chapter 1 verse 18 i'm going to start in verse 17 every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of turning verse 18 of his own will begat he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creation. And also you can look up Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 3, 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 15. So I don't have time to get into all the scriptures on first fruits, but there are many. Um, what's interesting is that after I woke up from woke up from this dream and began to ponder and pray and ask the Holy Ghost for more revelation, I posted um, on my Facebook page and tagged a few um, of my I consider uh, true brethren. Um, they're Holy Ghost baptized. Many are very mature. Many are pastors, um, leaders. Um, they're anointed. And um, I believe that the Spirit of God is upon them. Well, no one had responded to my dream. <laughs> no one shared anything. So I'm like, okay, I guess it's just me and you, Lord. <laughs> so anyways, I spent pretty much throughout the day, besides working um, part-time on my real estate stuff that needed to be taken care of, I spent uh, many hours uh, listening to teaching scriptures on first fruits. And just within the last 20 minutes... I came upon this word um, that, behold, I come, I, her, I believe her name is Julie Wedby, I wonder if her name is on here somewhere, but she's an anointed woman of God, and um, she shared May 26, a word on first fruits, governing body, and the choices of the left behind, message received May 25th, 2019, and she, she hears from the Lord. She's anointed of God. And I just stumbled upon this like 15 minutes ago. So I know it's not coincidence. I know that the Spirit of God led me here. And I'm going to be learning some more revelation about the dream that he gave me last night. Let me go to my dream that he showed me last night. And this is what I posted. And I don't remember uh, every details, but this is what I wrote. I saw in a dream last night this orphan Cambodian girl around age 9 through 11, some, somewhere in that age range. She's an outcast of society, rejected, hated, and um, despised, mocked and ridiculed, abandoned by the world. It was like I was watching her and that she was me as a child. I had compassion, mercy, and love for her and kept giving her whatever I found in my hands to give her, you know, the necessities of life, whether it's food, water, blankets, clothing, whatever I had, I kept on giving it to her because I just loved her and cared for her. 
while the world around her paid her no attention or care anything about her. They hated her. In this dream, I was made to know in my spirit that this orphan girl and outcast of the world poor, broken in spirit and went around town picking through city trash, looking for whatever is available to salvage or sell, like recycling cans, plastic bottles, etc., and even food that was uh, thrown out. Um, and she ate from clothing, shoes, whatever she could salvage. In my real life, these were the things that I used to do as a poor orphan refugee child her age. Not just um, different ref refugee camps, but also here in America, Houston, Texas, when we first came here. Then something profound and I believe prophetic came out of this orphan girl's mouth that I believe the Holy Spirit is revealing to me of who I am and everyone that was or is rejected, abandoned, hated, despised by the world. Like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was hated, rejected, cast away by the world without the love of God in their hearts. Out of her mouth were these words proclaimed over and over again. I am the first fruit. I am the first fruit. I am the first fruit. Then I woke up. I believe that God is revealing to all who suffered greatly as this orphan girl, my husband's coming home, and as Christ suffered that God before the foundation of the world chose us to be broken, rejected, poor in spirit, and some poor in earthly parents, uh, put up for adoptions, unwanted, and some poor in earthly materials like food and shelter, an outcast despised by the world so he can draw us to himself, heal us, teach us who he is as our Heavenly Father, and to know who we are in him, and to fill our broken vessels overflowing with his essence, his spirit, his love, to be poured right back out onto the poor, broken, desolate orphans of the world who must experience his great love as we have experienced and tasted his loving kindness and mercy upon our own lives. We have what they need. God has called us to share in the suffering of Christ so that we will also share in his glory as he has promised us in his holy word. Our lives are to be presented on his altar as a living sacrifice to bring many sons and daughters into Father's kingdom. Like Jesus, we are the first fruit to be presented as a pleasing sacrifice unto our God and Redeemer, King Jesus, for the glory of our God and Father. So those who sow in tears shall reap in joy. Our suffering in this life was never in vain in the hands of our Almighty God. Give Him all of your pain, brokenness, every parts and pieces so He can bless us and make us whole in His perfect love to bring healing and hope to the hopeless of the world. So here is her message that she received from the Lord. I believe in this woman. But take it to the Lord. Test all spirit. Test the word. Seek the Holy Spirit, seek the word of God for truth for yourself. Amen. First fruits governing body and the choices of the left behind. Message received May 25th, 2019. All those who are made in my image have been given choices. Purposes have been ordained and desires of my heart have been placed within. It is up to each one to choose to serve me and obey to choose to manifest my life's example here on earth or to refuse the invitation to a glorified eternal life with one's creator. We have placed each one here for a specific role and sanctified those my father has given me for his will. Those who have been chosen are those who answer the call on their lives and come to call on me as their Messiah. Within this vast group of those who come to know me in this lifetime, there are specified groups, the outcome of their destinies determined by the degree of their surrendered lives. Those who have fully surrendered and given over their lives and their entire being, heart, mind, body, soul, and will have been sealed first and will be taken by me first as a first fruits harvest preceding the much larger group who have allowed the desires and distractions of this world to hold their interests, focus, and priority. This first very small group 
comprises my jewels who will translate and enter into glory ahead of the rest. This group will be rewarded accordingly as they have learned the obedience and discipline in their lives through following my example and through the trials, suffering, and refining they have endured. I tell you this now, this group's reward comes quickly now. The time is upon you. This group is expecting me now and has made her garments clean in holiness, repentance, and humility. I can't tell you how many dreams I've had on all these things, our body being changed into glorious lights and being translated into lights like He is, our Lord is. Um, it's pretty, pretty exciting. And there's so many other things that the Lord has confirmed with just those few sentences that I just read. Within this first group, those who have completed the task they were given will still will stay with me during the great tribulation on earth and not be required any further service here. There is another part of this first fruits group whose lives have been the training ground for their final assignments. And I will translate them as a testimony of my glory, which will be granted as a gift to the much larger group. As the world plunges into darkness under the beast system, and that's coming, the Lord's been showing many, many, many of his servants around the world of the beast coming, the beast system coming, the Antichrist reign. They will minister for a time, performing great exploits in my name. They will glorify me as they pr present themselves to those in the valley of decision, testifying of my love for all my creation. Then I will bring them home. Those in this larger group, often referred to as those left behind, will still be afforded many graces, although they were not ready for my coming earlier. They too are a sealed group having accepted me as Messiah and will move forward under the greater trials by fire, persecution, and suffering in order that they receive the reward that is available to them. Greater sacrifice by the laying down of one's life sooner will yield a greater honor in my kingdom. I have gifts and crowns to give all those who choose me in this life, but it is up to you, the level of glory I reveal to you and the rewards you receive. Those who have chosen me sooner are those who are granted to be my governing body and will rule and reign with me in my kingdom as mature sons and daughters who inherit the authority, power, and rulership that my Father has given me. Amen. The larger group who also receive my sealing will then be presented with choices of service to me. Within this group will be many who will be given the opportunity to lay down their lives for me. But for them, by this time, it will mean their physical death by martyrdom. These will receive a great reward for this ultimate sacrifice. As those who have gone before them have received, they too will enter immortality with me. Those who remain faithful through the darkness under the beast's control but who are not required to lay down their lives, will enter immortality, be translated, glorified, raptured when I come for this group. And although they will not be comprised of my governing body, will remain to live in peace and harmony during the 1,000 year millennial reign on earth. The level of intimacy we share now in this life determines your position in my kingdom. Once understood, this revelation will help many who are having difficulty choosing the direction and choices that have and will be presented to them. Just as I have said, in my Father's house are many mansions. All that is spoken in my world, my word, has many layers of meaning and revelation. And if you've been following my channels, my life these last two and a half years, um, you would have probably seen the video that I shared on um, the mansion that Jesus had revealed to me that he's built for me. Um, May 5th or May 6th, 2016, the Lord gave me a vivid dream of my mansion. 
It was huge and it was like 90% completed at that time. And um, the view of my mansion was the ocean, which is my heart's desire. And the word of God tells us that he gives us our heart's desire. So I saw it and um, I remember saying to myself, oh my goodness, it's so big. What am I going to do with all this space? It was magnificent. Double staircases uh, from top to ceiling, like at least 100 feet high. I could not measure it. It was all glass overlooking the vast, beautiful, mighty ocean. It was amazing. So that was what the Lord showed me um, of my mansion. So ask the Lord to show you your mansion, and I believe that he will. Okay, let me go on. Again, to those who are intimate with me, I revealed the secret mysteries. I am not interested in lip service to me, just as I do not honor or re reward vain sacrifices and traditions of men. You are about to suddenly see that without intimacy, your religious practices are dead in spirit. Religion, charities, and organizations dedicated to good works, anything led by man and man's desires, and who does not carry my, carry my spirit within is dead. I cannot emphasize this enough. Amen. The word of God teaches us that. Without the spirit of God, we do not belong to Christ. And without the spirit of God, uh, there is no life because there is no life without Christ. Amen. Come out of the Babylonian system. Come out of the world as those who I have chosen are not of this world, just as I was not of this world. Hear what my spirit is speaking to you. Many are called, few are chosen. Every single choice you make each day determines your eternal destiny. Does this sink in with you at all? You are walking a path that results in a determined outcome that cannot be reversed after you leave this earth. Why would you choose to accept anything less than the full outpouring of my blessings for you? Because you chose very poorly in the here and now. Let me read that again. Why would you choose to accept anything less than the full outpouring of my blessings for you because you chose very poorly in the here and now. I am limitless and all that is of me is offered to you. What greater gift could there be? I implore you, take these, my words to heart. Meditate deeply on everything I am revealing to you. I have so much to share with you than what you have perceived. Come to me and pray for revelation and wisdom as I give freely to all who ask and all who seek me with all their heart. This is my heart's prayer every day. And I need to get into the presence of God more and meditate on these things more and more without the distractions of life, of work, and the world. It's, it's tough. But um, we must press in and stay in the presence of the Lord and seek his heart, seek his wisdom. Amen. Choices for many of you reading this must be made this instant because judgment is set and is now here. And many will enter this day into eternal separation or eternal glory with me. If these words have not pricked your heart, if you are not convicted of all that has been spoken, if you go from here back to your comfortably numb state of being, if you still have the thirst for entertainment and the ways of this world, continuing to be indoctrinated and programmed, then there is nothing more your creator and father can say to you is there. I love you beyond measure. But I force no one to return that love. What a man sows, he will reap. The reaping is begun. The great harvester comes with all his heavenly hosts, mustered for battle. My sword of truth cuts asunder. Yeshua. And that was given by Behold.com. And she gave a lot of backup scripture. John chapter 17, verse 1 through... 26, Revelation chapter 7, verse 3, Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, Joel chapter 3, verse 14, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, 24 to 25, Revelation chapter 21 through 6, and um, Revelation chapter 6, 9 through 11, 
Romans chapter 8, 14 through 19, Galatians chapter 4, verse 5 through 7, John chapter 14, verse 23, John 14, 2, Colossians 2, 8, Mark 7, verse 7 through 13, 1 Samuel chapter 15, 22 to 23, Galatians chapter 2, verse 16, Revelation 18, 4, Jeremiah 51, 45, Matthew 22, 14, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3 through 12, and um, James chapter 1, verse 5, James chapter 4, verse 13 through 14, Galatians 6, 7 through 9, Matthew 13, 30 through